Today on the channel, I've finally been able to make the five hour pilgrimage south out of Sydney to check out the Naruma Mountain Bike Park. Sadly, I had no one to bum petrol money off this time, so I'm flying solo to see how many of these trails I can get done. I had an awesome time for the two days I was there. I spent most of it in the gravity zone doing shuttles, but I was actually able to get over to the playground to jump a car. Or as Australians call this one, a ute. All right, so here I am at the top of Quantum. Now I asked Dave from DMMTB what should I do today because I have booked in the shuttles at the gravity zone. And I said, I want to do Quantum first. He said, don't do that. Go do the gravity zone and then come back and do Quantum at the end. But Dave, what I really wanted you to do was just validate what I was already thinking. That is, I'm starting the Quantum. So I did have to pedal up here, but that's fine. Got the e-bike as well. Oh, it's kind of big. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. Made it. Ah. Didn't make it. That's a make. Woo. Oh, it's big too. Woo! Yeah. I think I've got a better run in me. Do I do that again? Whoa, whoa, so deep. <laughs> hmm. I think my first go was better. So after overshooting the last jump on Quantum, I decided to take my money and run over to the gravity zone. So wax a lot. I was told by a local that this is kind of rutted out. Mm, yeah, okay. But Dave also told me to start on this, so I feel like I've already been too naughty. Some fun little doubles. I wouldn't do it again. All right, next. Steve? Steve, where are you? Uh, I, too many, too many things. That, Thomas the Jank Engine. Thomas the Jank Engine, I love Steve. We'll see, I barely know him. Is that a pool? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are these corners? Whoa. Oh, that's a high speed pool. Mm -hmm. mm, it's okay, it's okay. Very fast. All right, next. Chili and lime. Oh. Woo. Nice. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Can do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Too slow, too slow, but it's fine. So I'm told there's two gap jumps on this. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a good gap, it's a bit of a step down. I feel like it'd be very difficult to send this too deep. I'm way more nervous about this one than the last one. It just feels like you can overdo it and like get crazy on the landing. Oh, that's 
easy. <laughs> I was going a bit too slow. That's better. That is so much better. All right, tick. That was sick. I'm a massive fan of the lower half of that trail. Let's see if I can keep up. Let's see how long I can keep up for. <laughs> On this one, I was lucky enough to sneak into a party train between Hugo and his dad. He's an awesome young rider, so I was no hope in keeping up. I'll chuck his Instagram up on screen right now. Go check him out. I'm not gonna lie, I really struggled on Colonel Sanders. It took me a long time to get the pace to hit the top jumps and I didn't even hit all of them. Then down here, the e-bike is a real big heavy pig in this section. I couldn't make it work. I had no interest in hitting that little jump there. So my confidence was a bit rocked by this point and it was getting late in the day. So I decided to leave back to the playground and check out Thunderbirds ago. I'd like to hit this. So blind. Kind of just looks. Just aim just to the left of that stump. If I seem overly happy back there, it's because it was not my first attempt. I tagged nice. a back wheel quite a few times. Ugh. Oh, I just don't want to. It looks like so many people haven't made it. <laughs> Surely at worst, I just tagged the top of this thing, right? I can't nose bonk it, can I? Oh, did I make it? I think I did. <laughs> I think I kind of cheated and went off to the right. Uh. I just watched that back. I had one of those perfect moments where you just, you just catch the feature before the phone falls off. <laughs> it was alright. I made it. I made it.
And with that perfect little moment, it's on to day two. Day two, bluebirds in the sky, bellbirds in the trees, I'm back to quantum. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that felt so much better. I don't know why. So I did that. And a pull. Woo! Oh, I couldn't see anything. Sun's in my eyes. Ah! So with the sun playing havoc there, I decided to ditch the playground and head back over to the gravity zone and check out the double black jump line, Goodbye Gravity. Goodbye Gravity, let's go. What's up now? What's up now? Whoa! So much speed! Holy sh! <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Back to the road. Okay, come on. I can do that. I can do that. And get back to the road. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. It all looks achievable. If this is Bear Creek, the zapper would be closed. And by that I meant it was really windy up there and kind of rattling my confidence. This wind is pretty outrageous. I think... I think this, lot, this third one in the line, I think it's five, I'm up to three. This is gonna have to be it for today. I think I'll need to come back and just maybe try and session those last two. That that second last one's pretty damn steep. No wind. No wind, let's go. I try to attempt this, Christ, it just, oh, it's actually, it's a lot more intimidating from down here. Totally blind, can't see the lander, but, oh, I don't know. Yeah, actually, it's, that's pretty big. All right, I'm gonna call it. I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. This was a success. All right, so we are wrapping up the video here as I make my way down like the lower half of Goodbye Gravity. And these looked massive on the day, but looking at these now again on this little screen here, I reckon 
I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can do it. So if you've made it to the end here, thanks for watching. Now, don't feel obliged, but if you want, like, only if you want to, give us a like or drop a comment or hell, even subscribe. That really helps out the channel. You know what? I reckon, I reckon I've got this. I reckon I've actually got this whole line if I come down next time and really put some effort into it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.